The forerunner needs to know who he is. He needs to know the authority he has from God and how to operate in it. But he also needs to know how to operate in submission. The other night while I was praying, I saw a crown. It was a royal crown with gold on the bottom and a look of red velvet over the top. But in the center of the crown was a flame rising up from it. And I immediately sensed when I saw it that this was a picture of Pentecost, a symbol of how God was crowning his people with authority and power from the Holy Spirit. But no sooner did I see that, that I remembered the 24 elders in heaven throwing their own crowns down at the feet of Jesus, worshiping him, giving honor to the one who is worthy, the King of Kings. Before Jesus was exalted to that place, he first emptied himself and he became a servant. And as he lived his days on earth, he did nothing independently, but he only did what he saw his father doing. And he even humbled himself by becoming obedient to the point of death on a cross. And then Jesus told us that when the Holy Spirit comes, the Holy Spirit would only speak and reveal what he hears from the Father. And the Holy Spirit seeks to glorify Jesus on the earth. And then we see the Father giving Jesus the name above all other names, exalting him above everything in heaven, on earth, and under the earth. So even within the Godhead, we see a perfect example of what authority and submission looks like. Submission is seeking to honor another above yourself. It's choosing to quietly let someone else take the wheel. We need to do this in our relationships and in the church and always unto the Lord. Imagine what the church would look like if we reflected his nature in this way as we should. It would be glorious, just like the Godhead is glorious. Forerunner, today I challenge you, examine your relationships. Are there any where God is asking you to take a position of submission? Is he asking you to show a particular person in your life honor? Is there any situation where he's wanting you to give up control? Then I challenge you to examine what you know is your assignment or calling from the Lord. Is there anything you need to submit to him? Is there anything you're trying to make happen independent of him? If so, cast it again down at his feet. Let's pray today that the people of God would look to Jesus as our great example and follow in his way of humility. Pray that as the church has been going through great testing, that out of our refinement would come a people fully submitted to God and fully submitted to one another, a people who know how to honor.